In this module, we will look at the application server architecture. The application server architecture that applies to database servers, for example, is sometimes considered as the true implementation of the client server technology. In this particular module, we will briefly look at some of the application servers such as, for example, the database server, the web server, etc. What exactly is an application server? An application server is a server that is specific to an application. In the previous module, we looked at a file server architecture. Here again, to implement an application server, we require a network operating system in the first place. Consider the following network here, which has a client, and of course we have a server here. We will get this network functioning by implementing a network operating system such as Windows 2003 server operating system. At this time, we are ready to implement, for example, the file server application architecture. Now, in the case of application servers, we take this implementation a step further. Consider the implementation of an application server that in this case is the database server. In this particular case, we will implement the SQL server on this already established network operating system server. Therefore, when we implement an application server, we have two operating servers on the physical server that is shown here. What are they? First, of course, we have the network operating system, which, which is the server operating system that allows the resources on the server to be shared. Second, in this case, we will have the application server, which is the SQL server that is installed on the same server. Of course, on this side, we will have essentially the client operating system, Windows XP, for example. We may also have something called a front end. The front end is used for accessing the application server. In essence, we can list the following as the software components that are required to implement an application server. What are they? Obviously, on the server side, as we saw earlier, we need a network operating system and also we need an application server. On the client side, we need a client operating system. Then, of course, we also need a front end. Let us uh, take this example to see the execution of a database. Consider the case where we want to select the names of all the students in this class where the class ID or CID is equal to CIS 484. How is the execution performed? Of course, you will enter the query here. There will be a front-end software that will extract the query from you and only the query is transmitted to the server. The database search in this case is performed by the SQL server. In other words, the data files are not brought to the client. Instead, the query is transmitted to the database server where the search is performed only the result in other words, only those records that match the selection criteria, criteria or criterion is transmitted back to the client. Now, let us briefly compare this execution with the file server execution. In other words, let's look at the application server execution and compare that with the file server type of execution. Here again, we have the server on this side and the client on the other side. In the case of the file server architecture, when we perform a search, for example, for the names of all the students in the class CIS 484, the application was executed at the client. In other words, the data file was brought to the client 
and the search was performed on the client that is the file server architecture in the case of the application server architecture where we have the SQL server running on the network server here the execution was carried out as follows the query was extracted using a front-end interface uh, this interface is known as the front-end client that could have been developed using for example VB or it could simply be a modified version that could be executed using the web browser here now the front end will extract the query and the query is transmitted to the server where the SQL server performs the search on the server itself only the results are then transmitted back to the client therefore we could say that the execution is cooperatively done between the client and the server but in the case of file server the entire execution takes place at the client so this is the difference between the two types of application architectures let us now recall some of the salient points of the application server architecture of course to implement an application server architecture we must have a physical client server network what is a physical client server network it is a network that incorporates both a client and a server hardware when someone refers to the word client server technology he or she refers to the fact that there is an application server here we recall the execution of the application as we so stated earlier when we issue a command or a retrieval in query such as in the case of a database query a front-end software that could be for example a visual basic front-end or it could even be the Microsoft Office suite of front-end software that extracts the query the query is sent to the application server where the SQL server performs the search and all those records that match the search in terms of the fields that are requested are sent back over the network the important point to note here is that compared to the file server system here the network traffic is reduced why is that so it is so because of the fact that in the case of the file server system the entire file is brought to the client and searched over there in the case of application server only the results are brought to the client and finally as in the case of uh, the file server let us also look at application server with respect to the fo following criteria number one the place of execution of the application number two the network traffic number three the total cost of ownership or TCO and number four the security and control that could be exercised in the case of uh, place of execution of the application as we have seen the application is cooperatively executed both at the server as well as on the client the network traffic is less compared to the file servers what can we say about the total cost of ownership uh, it is almost the same as file server why is that so because we do process information on the client therefore we need a powerful client that means we don't save on maintaining the client in other words when we looked at the total cost of ownership we realized that the largest cost in many cases is in the maintenance of the clients in the case of application server we still need a powerful client why is that so because we have a front-end program running on the clients so as far as the total cost of ownership is concerned we could still say that both in the case of application server as in the case of file server they are almost the same in the case of security and control we can tell the following thing we do not move large amount of data over the internet entire files are not moved and we maintain the files here we perform the search at the server therefore we can exercise better security and better control in the case of application server why is that so because we have a central point of management of data a central point of search for the data and we also don't move the data on the network in large files. Uh, this brings us to the end of this discussion on application servers.